in today's video i'm going to share with you some tools and equipment that i use as a fashion designer and if you're a beginner this is the best video for you so in no particular order number one is a sewing machine this is the one that i use it's the juki ddl 8700 and then you're going to need tape measures i have two but you you gotta have many <laughs> and then i have some pins those are my fabric scissors and of course you can't use your fabric scissors to cut paper so i have my paper scissors that i use to cut my patterns next is a tool that you can't live without that's a seam ripper used to um, undo stitches and then we have thread i have so many different colors i uh, just wanted to show you an example so th those are the threads that i use and then i have elastic for whenever i need it for a particular project this comes in very handy and it's cheaper to buy it in bulk so things like zippers buttons velcro i have them on hand so i have long zippers short zippers and in different colors so that i don't have to hustle around when i need them next are my rulers which have been used eh they have been used <laughs> But yeah, I have a 30 centimeter ruler. I have this um, square to help me make straight lines. I have this French curve for when I want to make armholes and any curves in my patterns. And as you can see, they have been properly used. <laughs> Next, I have my pattern drafting books. So I have the fifth edition and the sixth edition of the Winfred Aldrich um, pattern making book, which is so nice. I love this book very much because it's easy to follow and it teaches you everything step by step. So as if you're a beginner in fashion, I would highly, highly recommend these two books. There is no much difference between them, but just get a hold of one and you'll thank me later. The next thing that I have is pattern papers and I have these brown ones. I also have white ones, but I want to say that you can use anything as pattern paper. Most of the time when I make my patterns, I always use newspaper. So you don't have to break the bank buying pattern paper. So that's an example of a pattern I have made of a skirt. I also have this sketchbook that I use to sketch out my designs and write my design concepts and all that. Um, I just took a bunch of plain papers and stapled them at the top to make this sketch pad. But uh, obviously you can go to the bookshop and buy yourself a proper sketchbook let me take this opportunity to thank all of you who have subscribed to the channel i really appreciate and for those of you who always engage with my content god bless you next is a tracing wheel um to trace my patterns so that's important <laughs> I also have a bunch of marker pens for when I'm making patterns obviously and I want the lines to be seen. I usually use this on tutorials mostly. Next thing is pretty obvious. I have my pencils um, and my eraser. I also have a sharpener to sharpen the pencils when they break because when you're doing pattern drafting you always need a very sharp pencil that's what my teacher told me <laughs> and then more erasers you can never have enough and then the next thing is colored pencil i mean sorry pens <laughs> to take notes 
because yeah i usually take lots of notes so the next thing is colored pencils to color in your designs to bring them to life and all that you can also use watercolors i just don't have them right now next we have a screwdriver which i mostly use on my sewing machine especially when i want to sew in zippers and i want to change the presser foot into this zipper foot because this is easy to use when you when you're doing zippers honestly mostly i don't even use it next you're going to need a bunch of chalks they broke they broke when i was doing this video so yeah i have some pencils there but i have a whole pack so i'm good but you can also use taylor's chalk next i have my paper glue to stick my patterns together or i also use cello tips so it either can do and the last thing on this list is a dummy or a mannequin and you don't really need this one but um, i have it and it had an accident <laughs> so thank you so much for watching this video leave a comment if you enjoyed and i'll see you in the next one bye